Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video, Couponing with Viewer. Um, as you can tell by the title already, um, this is just a um, video that I'm going to create for um, people who are new to CVS, or new to Couponing with CVS pretty much. Um, now, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that by all means, I am not an expert at I'm not an expert couponing at CVS at all. Um, I just decided to create a video because I do get a lot of questions from friends and family on how they can coupon, like how to start couponing at CVS, where do they start, um, what's my tips, and um, so pretty much like just what's my tip um, for if people were to just start off couponing at CVS. So um, this video is just this video, so pretty much just this video is just gonna be my tips and a recommendation how to get started, how to get started, um, how to get start, how to get started couponing at CVS, pretty much. So, um, yes, I do hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys do enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment, anything like that down below, and um, so yeah, subscribe so subscribe so you do get notifications of me doing breakdowns. On, on the hauls that I do get during the week and also if you um, do want to follow me on social media I do post up around if I go on random trips to CVS or any other store other than CVS I do post them onto my social media mostly on my Facebook account but um, if you if you don't have a Facebook account I do have a snapchat as snapchat as well so if you want to follow me on snapchat or um, Facebook um, please check the description link down below and you will find the links to those to those social media sites. So let's go ahead and get started um, with how to start how to start couponing at CVS. <clears throat> and I just a quick thing, I am still sick, so I do hope that you guys don't mind. I hope that you guys don't mind the um, if I do sound a little bit weird. Um, hope I'm hoping to get better by the time I do go on to my next trip to CVS. And come back and do a breakdown so I do hope that I do get a little bit better um, so yeah let's go ahead and get started so let's get started um, with tip number one so my first tip is to get a CVS card so um, there's several ways to get a CVS card so what you can do is you could go into so you could go on to cvs.com um, you could sign up for a CVS card and they can send you one in the mail um, or if not what I do recommend is to go into a CV go into a CVS store and ask them for a CVS card okay so the CVS card actually looks like this um, it'll actually it'll actually come with two, with two. so um, I gave the other one to my sister so I only have one so this is how the CVS card looks like um, it might be different. I don't. I hope it's not regional. Um, I hope it doesn't look different due to regional. But yeah, so this is how my CVS card looks like. Um, so yeah. So once you get that card, um, once you get that card in store, the reason why I recommend getting the CVS card in store is because you could go into the store, you could scan your um, CVS card on the red box. So CVS red box. Um, so you go scan your card they usually have that red box right in the front by the registers or usually in the back by the pharmacy so um, I would double check I don't I would double check I know my store has only one red box so um, you just go scan your card and then you get um, instant coupons you get so yeah so once you have your CVS card go scan your card on the red box machine so as soon as you scan your red box machine you should get um, you, um, you might get some coupons, like for example, like these. Um, and then you just, if you want to start shopping that day, you can. Um, just start shopping. Just use those coupons for the day. Yep. So that's tip number one. So tip number two is to sign up for email alerts. Um, so, so email. So sign up for email alerts. Make sure that you make sure that you give the cashier the correct email address that um, that you want on the account. Um, the reason why is because sometimes sometimes CVS will email you very valuable coupons, like for example, ten dollars off a of forty, um, six dollars off a of thirty. Sometimes you'll get thirty percent off thirty percent off of um off of your purchase in store. 
um, 25% off, pretty much just any, any of those kind of coupon. Um, sometimes you usually get like two, like a $2 extra care box off, like a $2 off of any household products, two household, um, like one before that I had before was $2 off of any, uh, mouth mouthwash or some or pretty much anything like that so when you do when you do sign up for that CVS card make sure that you do give the cashier um, make sure to verify your email make sure that everything is correct and make sure that the cashier do put that you do put that you do put on there that you want email alerts <coughs> and that you do want to sign up for email alerts so that's one of the things that I do recommend for you want to do so now so now that you're home um, now that you're home or at CVS, um, what I would do is I would download the CVS app onto your phone or your tablet, um, to your Android, tablet, iPad, or a Apple devices. So um, download that, download the CVS app onto your phone, to your devices. Um, the reason why the reason why I say to download the app is because CVS is doing a promotion at the moment where if you download the app, you get a five dollars extra care bucks. You get a we get a free five dollars extra care box just for you to use, um, just just for you to use as a thank you for downloading the app. So that is one of the that's one of the that's one of the reasons why I recommend downloading the CVS app, especially if you're a brand new customer, especially if you're a brand new customer, you're a first time card holder. Um, download that app and con and connect your card to that app so that you're able to get that free five dollar extra care box. So so that so that. So that you're able to start off with the, that five dollars I should care about. Um, just keep in mind that the five dollars I should care about it does take anywhere from twenty four to forty eight hours to generate, um, onto your um, onto your account. So just keep that in mind. <coughs> okay. So, tip number four is to do the curbside deal. So what is a curbside deal? This curbside deal is pretty much, um, like a it's pretty much like a promotion that CVS is doing, um, where you don't have to get out of your car to, you don't have to get out of your car to pick up your item in store. So, so pretty much you order online, and um, and the cat um, once you once you get to the store, just stay in your car. Um, first, I guess there's an alert on your phone that will alert the will alert the CVS employee that you're there in the parking lot, and they will bring the item out for you. Um, so, so that you don't have to get out, so that you don't have to get out of your car. So, the reason why I recommend the curbside for first-time CVS customer is because um, CVS is doing a promotion: spend spend fifteen dollars and get a ten dollar get a ten dollar um, coupon off of any order that's fifteen dollars or more. Um, so, that is an awesome deal. So, like for like for example, if I'm a, if I'm a new customer, if I'm a new customer or the or okay, so you don't have to be a new customer to do the curbside. Um, it's just it's it's just that the curbside is just for first time, first time customer who tries the curbside order. So if you're if so if this is your first time doing the curbside order, then um then you'll then you'll get then you'll get that ten dollars off of fifteen. Um, because I did the curbside already, I'm not gonna be able to do it again. But if you haven't, take advantage of that curbside. Um. So, <clears throat> okay. So like, let's say for example, um, this week they have an Irish Spring deal, and they are priced at three dollars and ninety nine cents. And um, and you, if you buy one, you get a two dollars extra care bucks back. That is a limit of four per household this week. So what I would do is I would grab four of those. Um. And it will be fifteen ninety six. Use that ten dollar, use that ten dollar um, coupon off, and I'll pay five dollars five dollars ninety six cents back, and I'll get eight dollars in extra care bucks when I get there. So in the so in the end, so in the end you'll in in the end, in the end because I downloaded the um, CVS app and because I participated in the curbside deal, and I got something that gave me extra bucks back. Not um not only am I gonna get that five dollars I should care about to start off with. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna also get that eight dollars. I'm gonna also get that eight dollars I should care about back as well. So that gives me a total. Eight, that gives me a total of thirteen dollars in I should care about to start off with, as a brand new customer, as a brand new, as a brand new customer to CVS, as you can see. 
<clears throat> okay, so um, one of my tip, one of my tips for doing the curbside, if you're gonna do the curbside, one of my tips is to get something that you know you're not, you know you're not gonna get any money. Get something that you know you don't have any manufacturer coupon for. So, um, so like for example, the Irish Spring, there's no manufacturer coupon out there. At least for me, I can't find any manufacturer coupon for the Irish Spring body wash. Um, and so I, I would get that because I know because I know that my family, I could because I know that my brothers and my cousins they will use that. Um, pretty much they. Pretty much, I know that they will use it, so that's the only reason why I ever get the ice cream. Don't get no, don't get anything that you know you're not gonna need. Um, don't waste, don't waste that ten dollars extra bucks. And don't waste that ten dollar coupon off of, um, off on anything that you don't need. Use it on something that you need, and generates you extra care bucks. That's my tip. Um, and and you have no extra care bucks to, and you have no manufacturer coupon, um, to help to help you bring the total down. Um, so that's one of my tips. Um, and also, tip number five is to sign up for Beauty Bucks with CVS. So Beauty Buck is just pretty much you get Beauty Buck is pretty much um, spend fifty dollars on any beauty item, and you get a five dollars extra care bucks back. Um, so not so. Let's say for example this week, I don't have the ad to show you guys. So um, I do hope that you guys understand. So like for example this week, Maybelline. Irish Spring. Okay, so, so what's so what's considered what's considered um, in the beauty section um, to, to go toward the beauty bucks. So the so the so I'm um, so shampoo is part of the beauty beauty section. Um, body wash is also part of the beauty section. Um, body lotion, makeup of course, facial care, um, and. I'm pretty sure there's more, but those those are, those are the only five that I can think of. So shampoo, body wash, um, body lotion, facial care, and makeup. So those are the only five that I can think of. I'm pretty sure there's more, but these are the only five that I can think of. So 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 let's take so let's take for example, I got some Iron Spring. I got four I got four bottles of Irish Spring. Now that total up to fifteen ninety six. And let's say I did get some Maybelline, some L'Oreal. Um, some other items. Um, not not only am I getting eight dollars extra care bucks for the body wash, if I if I do do that deal, um, I'm gonna get five dollars back for the Maybelline. I'm gonna get five dollars back for the L'Oreal. Um, five dollars back for CoverGirl. Or if I do get some Pantene, five dollars, ten dollars back for Pantene. Not only are you getting all all of those extra care bucks, not only are you getting those extra care bucks back. Um, in the end, if you spend fifty dollars or more, if you spend fifty dollars. So every so for every fifty dollars you get a five dollars that she care bucks back. So so let's say so let after after all that uh, after after getting all that um after getting all those extra care bucks um you're you're gonna get another five dollars that she care bucks on top of that. So what so just take just take it as if CVS is paying you to take to take items off of their to take items off of their shelf or to walk out with them pretty much so yeah so that's that's a very good thing and plus other thing is that if you keep buying if you keep buying like shampoos pretty much pretty much things that you need so if you keep buying shampoo uh, makeup and uh, vitamins food or anything like CVS doesn't have any food but uh, snacks milks or anything like that if you if you keep buying if you keep buying those things CBS will give you personalized coupon. So like let's say for example So CBS will give you personalized store coupon um, which which prints out at the red box machine. So like so let's take for example like this one. Um, this is a three dollars off a of fifteen cosmetic. Um, I don't really buy cosmetic. Um, I don't really stock up on makeup just because after a while they do expire and I don't really put on makeup and um, if you if you watch my videos you probably know that I don't really put on makeup I only put on on special occasions or yeah I pretty much just put it on special occasions um so yeah <laughs> so I don't really stock up on makeup but because the last couple of days I didn't want any of my Maybelline coupons to go to waste I decided to just grab some mascara because they um, if I don't put on any makeup, I do put on mascara um, and for my brows. So, <coughs> so yes. Yeah, so that's the reason why. And that's 
and that's the reason why I've been that's the reason why I'm getting the um cosmetic coupon. Um, I I usually get like three dollars off of shampoo. Three dollars off if you need fifteen dollars shampoo. Four dollars off of fourteen Pantene. Um, pretty much when the pretty much when the deals come around, I get you know, I get those CVS coupon which I stack on top of extra care bucks to get my items as low as zero or as low as zero pretty much. And then plus after you know, after paying that zero out of pocket, I do get some extra bucks on top of that. So that's so that's pretty much like a money like a money maker for me. Um, so. The extra, so the extra box is pretty much just like a CVS gift card, like like a CVS gift card that CVS provides for customers, and then with those extra bucks, you're, you're able to you're able to save those, or you can roll them you can roll them to pay for um other things so that your extra bucks so your out of pocket is as low as zero as well. So that's one of, so that's one of the good things about couponing at CVS if you do want to get started at CVS, and then the last tip is. The last, the sixth in the last tip is to, um, is to get coupons. So, <clears throat> is to get manufactured coupons, pretty much. So, how to get manufactured coupon and what I would do, um, invest in a very good printer if you don't have one already. Invest in a very good printer, um, wireless, wire, wireless at best, because, um, if you have a Android device or an iPad or an iPhone or a, um, pretty much an Android phone, um, you're able to, if you if, if you get a wireless if you get a wireless a wireless printer, you're able to print you're able to print coupons from your phone, from your tablet, from your laptop, from your desktop computer. Um, so yeah, so with the with the printable coupons, it's two it's two per devices. So if you so let's so let's say, so let's say for example, I have my phone, I have my tablet, I have my laptop, I have my desktop. That's a t that's a total of four devices. So if I'm able to print out two coupons per device, that's a total of eight coupons that I am able that I'm able to print out that I'm able to print out for myself. So um, so if you find so if you find a really good coupons like let's say for example on coupons.com, um, print print as many as you can because usually usually the coupons doesn't expire until like until like a month and until like a month until like a month month the day that you print it out so let's say for example if i were to print out a coupon if i were to print a coupon out today on the 8th of january um some sometimes the coupon doesn't expire until february or march so um print print that coupon out because by the time by the time there's a sale by the time there is a sales or a deal um if you go if you go back to um try to print it out it's probably not going to be on coupons.com anymore um and the other thing is so another way to get coupons is to um, buy is to buy Sunday paper, or if not that, uh, um, in my town the the paper the coupons the coupons in the paper comes out on a Saturday. So because of so because of that, I'm able to I'm able to grab my coupons on Saturday, um, in case. So I I always grab my coupons on Saturday. The reason why is because because like let's say this week. Um, let, let's say the coupons for this weekend that's coming out. There is a very good coupon in there. Um, that will be that will be good for the deals this week. I will use I I will I will use that coupon for um this past week's deal. One of the one of the things about the manufacturer coup the coupons that comes out in the newspaper is to never throw your never never throw the coupons that you think you're not gonna need away. Um, just because just because. Let's say, let's say if you were to throw your coupons away on Sunday, and um, the trash picker came and pick up your pick up your trash bin, right, um, from outside of your house, and the next day there is a sale, there is a sale on let's say Pantene, um, they are priced at fifty cents each. Let's say for example, and you and you had it and you had a fifty cents off of one, um, and you threw that coupon away because you think that you're not gonna need it, um. Now there goes a loss. So what I so what I usually do is I keep my coupons. I keep coupons. I keep coupons that I know that I'm not gonna need and plus need into like a binder. Um. So into like a big. I think it, this is like a. Oh, what am I saying? One thing. So this is a three inch binder. Um. I've been couponing for. I've been couponing for. <coughs> for about two three years now. So 
it's understandable for me to have a big binder but if you're just if you're just barely starting out when, when I when I first started out I used a ziplock bag to hold my coupons um if not that I use like a folder to hold my coupons so um I just I just slowly grow grow to getting like a big giant binder so that's one of the so that's one of the tips that I do have for you guys so yeah so if you do like the video um if you if you find the video helpful and you do like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe um leave any comments or suggestion like that down below and um if you do want to follow me on social media um I do um I will have my Facebook and my Snapchat account link them down below and also um um, and also, and also, um, if I do go to CVS every, every weekend, um, and I do film a breakdown every weekend as well. So if you don't want to miss that, if you don't want to miss the breakdown, um, please hit the bell, please hit the bell right next to the subscribe button. So then when I do upload a video, you're able to new, you're able to get that notification. So yeah, so I do hope that you guys find this video helpful. Um, and you guys do have a wonderful week and happy coupon to those who are coupon. Bye bye.